Representative Simpson's bill, I shared my experience with uh, Representative Hughes, who then shared it with Representative Simpson's wife, and so I'll, I'm happy to share it with you all here today. I was returning from an official meeting in New Orleans of the grid operator that operates our transmission system in parts of Texas, including Northeast Texas. I was leaving from New Orleans. My flight left in the early afternoon. Fortunately, I got there early. And as I got up to the area where you go through uh, the mags, they had the conventional uh, system that you walk through, and then they had the naked body scanner off to the side. And a TSA agent was determining who would go into which one. And so I said, uh, when it got to my turn, I put my bags, because I always carry my bags on with me. You know, there's two kinds of bags. There's carry-on and there's lost. <laughs> I get that. So my bags went on the belt and through the screening process. And I said, I'd rather go through this kind of uh, x-ray machine, the conventional one, rather than than the new naked body scanner. And she said, well, you don't have that choice. And I said, okay, uh, I'm opting out. Those, those are the key words, right? So the TSA agent goes, opt out, opt out. We got an opt out. You know, calling everyone's attention to me. So I said, okay, we'll just, we'll see how this goes. And so I went through the conventional x-ray machine all of my shoes, my bags, my jacket, everything went through the belt, through the x-ray machine. And uh, so an agent came over, a male agent, he said, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to examine you, I'm going to pat you down, and, and to his credit, he said it's going to be pretty aggressive. And it was pretty aggressive. And in fact, uh, I then later on when I boarded my flight from New Orleans, I had to connect through Houston to Austin. and. Now, let me put this delicately, I, I was still feeling the effects of the pat-down as I sat in my seat from New Orleans to Houston and then, and then Houston to Austin. But really, the part that offended me the most was after he patted me down, and this was in front of everybody, they had no screen or anything, he started going through my baggage one item at a time. One pair of socks, one pair of underwear, one pill of aspirin and this went on forever and finally I said I said why are you doing that to my luggage and he said well you you opted out I said but my bags didn't opt out my bags went through the screen just like everybody else well you opted out so we had this conversation back and forth and uh, like I said fortunately I got there early so I wasn't gonna miss my flight and finally, I said, you know, I'd like to talk to a supervisor. And uh, so he called the supervisor over, and I said, why are you going through my baggage one item at a time as slowly as you possibly can? And she said, well, you opted out. I went through the whole thing. My bags didn't opt out. My bags went through the screen like everyone else. And, and finally, I said, you're punishing me for opting out, aren't you? And to her credit, she said, yes, we are. I said, thank you for your honesty. Finally gathered my stuff together, put it all back in, reorganized it, and was able to make my flight. You had a very bad TSA experience this weekend. Tell us about that. Yeah. Uh, I was coming back to Austin Tuesday morning, and I had to go straight from the uh, airport to the house and I had to be here within 20 minutes so I, I knew I wouldn't have a chance to change clothes. So I was dressed for the floor and I had on a uh, dress and a, um, I didn't realize the skirt was that tight but as I went through the uh, security they told me that, the, that they would have to search me and uh, so the girl, the lady said would you uh, like to come behind, would you come behind the uh, curtain because she said your dress is way too tight I can't search you. I said, no, if you're going to grope me, you're going to have to do it here. Of course, we've kidded a lot about the groping bill and but and made maybe light of it, but it, it really upset me and made me very uncomfortable. And she went, uh, made me move my legs apart, and she fell down my legs and up, all the way up. And then she made me stand a, a different way where she could go all the way up the front and then all the way up the back 
of my dress and um, and then put her hand down my sweater and uh, for, in front of my dress, I mean, and, and uh, I had to take my sweater off. So it made me feel uncomfortable, and I would want my constituents to have to go through this, or children, or, or elderly people. I'm sure they have to, but I think we do need to make people aware that this is happening. Usually, and I've kind of not gotten as excited as I was about that and upset. Typically, if my hair goes off because it has pins in it, they'll just go down the my pant, go down the front of my pants and the back of my pants with their hands, which is a little inappropriate when, like you say, you're trying to tell your grandchildren there are certain parts that you don't let people touch, and then they came down would go down the front of my shirt, um, and it's very disrespectful and uh, intimidating. And of course, they will make comments like, "Do you want to fly?" So even if I say, you know, I really would prefer you wouldn't uh, touch me there, they have the power to say you can't fly on our airplane unless you let them touch whatever they feel is appropriate.